Ages Part 3. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part 3 on the lecture on ages. Here's your first problem. Problem 1. A man has two sons. Presently, the man's age is thrice the sum of the ages of his two sons. Five years hence, the father's age will be twice the sum of the ages of his sons. What is the age of the father? Now for the first sum, we just assign the man's age to x, son 1 and son 2 is y and z. They have said, the, at present, the man's age will be three times the sum of the ages of his two sons. So three times the sum of the ages of two of his sons. So y plus z, right? In the second statement, they said that five years hence. So if his current age is x, after five years, his age will be x plus five. So after five years, the father's age will be twice the sum of his son's ages. So if the son's age now is y, after five years, it will be y plus five. And this fellow will be z plus 5. This is how you write the equation. So now you can write this as x plus 5 is equal to 2 into y plus z. 5 plus 5 will give you 10, right? They've asked you to find the, the man's age, the father's age. So that is x. Now you can split this up as 2 into y plus z plus 2 times the 20. Correct? And this is x plus 5. Now from the first equation here, you know that x is equal to 3 into y plus z or y plus z is x by 3. So substitute that value here. So you can write x plus 5 is equal to 2. What is y plus z? x by 3. So x by 3 plus 20. Right? Now, you can take 5 this side and subtract it from 20. So it will be x is equal to 2x by 3. 20 minus 5 is 15. So plus 15. Now take an LCM. So this will be 2x plus 15 to 3 is 45 by 3 is equal to x. Now multiply this 3 here. So you'll have 3x is equal to 2x plus 45. Right? Now 3x minus 2x is equal to 45. Implies x, that is the father's age, will be 45 years. Easy? Let's go on to the second problem. Problem 2. Consider five siblings who are born apart by three years each. If the sum of all the ages of the children is 50 years, what is the age of the youngest child? Alright, now for the second sum, we've said consider five children. Alright, now they've said that the sum of the ages of these five children who are born apart at an interval of three years each will be 50. And what is the age of the youngest child? Now, let us say these are the five children. He's the youngest and he's the eldest. Now, it's obvious that he was born first, then the rest came at an interval of three years each. Now let us assume that this fellow's age is x. Alright? Now this guy was born 3 years before this guy. So he will be 3 years elder than him. So x plus 3. This fellow will be x plus 6. He will be x plus 9. And this guy will be x plus 12. They have said that the sum of all these ages will be 50. So if you add all of these up, it will give you 50 years. Now they've asked you to find what is the youngest. So the youngest age is x. So we just need to solve this and find x. That's it. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5x's. Five so 5x. If you add up all the numbers, this is 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 12 is 30. So 5x plus 30 is equal to 50. So 5x is equal to 50 minus 30 is equal to 20 implies x is equal to 20 by 5 or 4 years. So the youngest kid is 4 years old. Problem 3. Consider two people. One of them is elder than the other by 10 years. 15 years ago, the elder one was twice the age of the younger one. What is the age of the elder person? Alright, now for the third sum, they say that there are two people. Let's say x and y. They've said that the difference between the ages of x and y will be 10 years. Alright, so x minus y will be 10 years. Now here we've already assumed that x is elder. Alright? Now they said that 15 years ago, the elder one will be twice the age of the younger one. Now, if the present age is x, 15 years ago, it will be x minus 15. Right? This is there in the first video. So go check it out. Now, so now 15 years ago, x minus 15. Right? The elder one was twice the age of the younger one. The younger one also 15 years ago will be y minus 15. Now just solve this. So x minus 15 
is equal to 2i minus 30 or x minus 2i yeah, right you bring the 2i here and you take the minus 50 in that side so it will give minus 30 plus 15 so you have x minus 2i is equal to minus 15 right now this is your first equation and it's your second equation now if you subtract this equation from here what do you get so we just write x minus y is equal to 10 when you subtracting you need to change the signs right so you have a minus here you have a plus here and you have a minus here so now a plus x minus x we get cancelled minus 2y plus y so minus y minus 15 minus 10 will be minus 25 implies y is equal to 25 but this is not your answer y is the younger guy we want x so x minus 25 is equal to 10 right or x is equal to 10 plus 25 so the answer is 35 years all right so this is part three on the lecture ages in part four i'll solve many more tougher problems if you found this video helpful do share this link on facebook and subscribe to my channel thank you you can subscribe to my channel to get all my videos i'd also appreciate it if you repost this video on facebook and tell your friends about it spread the knowledge